What's going on gamers? Today we're going to go over how to install Apex made custom mod packs that you've purchased onto your client side launcher. But before we get into the tutorial, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the official Apex hosting YouTube channel. One of the best ways to enjoy Minecraft is by customizing it with mods, which is why we have many one click install mod packs available on our game panel. However, you may want to use your own mods or a custom mod pack. Creating a custom mod pack can be difficult as there are many complications to it, such as mod versions, having dependencies, knowing what mods work with each other, and more. That is why here at Apex we have created the mod pack creation add-on. This allows you to just send us the mods and have our team of professionals create the mod pack for you and install it server side. In this guide we're going to be walking you through the steps on how you can install our custom mod packs client side. When you purchase custom mod pack from Apex Hosting, a support member is going to send you a ticket once they have set up your server. The ticket is going to contain three things, a Dropbox link in which you can grab your mod pack from, and then a link to Twitch just in case you don't know how to grab it, and then instructions on how to install all of these onto your Twitch launcher. Two things you need to check for before you get started are which version of Forge you need and then what build of Minecraft you're getting it for. As you can see here, this support staff member recommends that we get the latest version of Forge for the 1.12.2 build of Minecraft. Let's go ahead and jump to the Dropbox link before we get started on anything else. From here, if we want to download our mod pack, all we need to do is click on the top right of the corner and then hit direct download. This is gonna download a zip file. So make sure that you have either 7-zip or WinRAR installed. Once you've downloaded your zip file, make sure you put it into a folder so that you know where it's going to be later on for when we install it onto our Twitch launcher. Once you've gone through the process of installing the Twitch desktop app and you've logged in, go ahead and head to the mods tab at the top of the Twitch app and then click on Minecraft. From here, you're going to want to create a custom profile by clicking on the custom profile part of the page. Go ahead and name your custom profile. And as stated in the ticket that was given to us by the support staff, make sure you're on the right version of Minecraft. 1.12.2 is perfect for us. And then click on the latest version of Forge. That's going to show up right under the none. This spot is always going to be for the latest version of Forge. Go ahead and click that and then click. Once you've created your profile, you can go ahead and right click on it to open up the folder. Once the folder opens up, you're gonna to wanna to jump into the mods folder. Once you have your Twitch folder open up for your mods, you can go ahead and open up the folder where you have the mod pack that was given to you by the Apex support staff. Now don't forget that you might need 7-zip or WinRAR to access the files located inside of your compressed or zipped folder. The easiest way to transfer the files or the mods is to double click inside of the folder, click and drag and select all of the mods, and then right click and drag to copy or to move your mods. They're going to go into the Twitch folder, but this is definitely the easiest way to get it done. Once you're ready to copy or move your mods, go ahead and let go and then either copy or move them here. It's recommended to copy so that you don't lose your original backup of all your mods. Go ahead and copy. And as you can see, all of your mods from the original mod pack folder have been copied on to your Twitch launcher. From there, all you need to do is click back onto the Twitch launcher and then confirm that your mods have installed by clicking on the profile that you just made. From here, you can see that it has installed all of the mods that we wanted from our mod pack. It might take a second or some of the mods may not show up. So make sure to refresh to confirm that you have all of the mods on your Twitch profile. You can access your profile by clicking play at the top right or by clicking play back at this page of your Twitch launcher. Go ahead and click play and it's going to do one of two things. It's either going to install a Minecraft launcher for you or it's just going to open one up. Go ahead and click play to access the custom mod pack that Apex made specifically for you. But don't forget folks, one of the biggest issues with launching a profile from Twitch is that 
you're not going to get any mods appearing. Just make sure that you have correctly extracted all of the mods into the mod folder by, of course, clicking open folder, going into mods and making sure that all of the mods are dropped into the mods folder. If they go anywhere else, they're not going to launch with your Twitch profile. Well, folks, that's all I've got for you today. I want to thank you for watching this tutorial, and I want to thank you for using an Apex server. And as always, I hope you have lots of fun.